We are going to discuss something crucial, something you may not realize is happening around you every day. There are things, subtle things, that attract negative energy into your life, and they can be quite dangerous. Many of you might wonder why your life isn't progressing the way you desire, why you feel stuck, or why certain unfortunate events keep repeating themselves. The truth is, whether you are aware of it or not, you are the operant power behind everything that happens in your life. So, what I am about to share with you will help you understand how you may be unintentionally attracting negative energy. And once you understand this, you can stop it from happening. Now, before we dive into these dangerous things, let me remind you that everything begins with your mind. Your outer world, your reality, is nothing but a reflection of your inner world. What you believe, feel, and think about consistently is projected into your world. Therefore, the negative things you experience are not happening to you. They are happening because of you. This is a very powerful realization, but don't let it scare you. It means that you also have the power to change everything. You just need to become conscious of what you are doing. The first dangerous thing that attracts negative energy is fear. Fear is a powerful emotion. And when you allow fear to take over your mind, you are essentially giving energy to something you don't want. Fear is the opposite of faith. When you fear something, you are placing your attention on it and imagining the worst possible outcome. And since imagination creates reality, what you fear will manifest. You might be afraid of losing your job, your relationship, your health, or your money. And as you continue to focus on these fears, they grow stronger. The more energy you give to fear, the more you attract negative situations that align with that fear. But remember this, nothing can happen to you unless you imagine it happening. So stop feeding fear with your thoughts Fear is simply faith in the wrong things. Let's explore the second dangerous thing that attracts negative energy. Complaining. Many people have a habit of complaining about various aspects of their lives, such as their jobs, their relationships, or their financial situations. While it might feel good to vent your frustrations, complaining is actually harmful. It keeps you focused on the negative aspects of your life, and this focus can attract more negativity. When you complain, you are concentrating on what you don't want. And here's the problem. Whatever you focus on, you tend to get more of. This is because your thoughts and words have a powerful effect on your reality. By complaining about something, you are giving it more attention and energy, which reinforces the very situation you are trying to escape. Think about it this way. When you complain about your job, for instance, you are focusing on the problems and dissatisfaction you have with it. Instead of finding solutions or improving your situation, your complaints are like a magnet that draws more of the same problems to you. The more you complain about your job, the more you're attracting more negativity related to it. This is because your complaints act as affirmations, affirmations of a reality you don't want. You are essentially saying, this is my reality and I don't like it and by continually focusing on it, you make it grow and persist. The same principle applies to other areas of your life. Complaining about your partner or your financial situation keeps you stuck in a cycle of dissatisfaction and frustration. When you focus on what's wrong, you're less likely to see opportunities for improvement or change. Your complaints become a barrier to positive change because they reinforce the negative aspects of your current situation. So, what can you do instead of complaining? Practice gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful tool that shifts your focus from what you lack to what you already have. It helps you recognize and appreciate the good things in your life, no matter how small they may seem. When you focus on what you're thankful for, you change your mindset from one of lack to one of abundance. To practice gratitude, start by making a habit of listing things you are grateful for each day. This could be as simple as appreciating a sunny day, a kind word from a friend, or a good meal. By regularly acknowledging the positives in your life, you begin to shift your focus away from what's missing or wrong. Gratitude helps you create a more positive and abundant mindset. 
When you focus on the good things, you attract more positive experiences and opportunities. This is because your energy and attention are directed towards what you want to grow and expand in your life. Let's discuss the third dangerous thing that attracts negative energy, negative self-talk. Negative self-talk happens when you speak to yourself in a way that lowers your own value and confidence. Many people are not aware of how often they criticize themselves or doubt their abilities. This inner dialogue, or the way you talk to yourself in your head, has a big impact on your reality, even if you don't realize it. Think about the things you say to yourself every day. Do you often think or say things like, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, or I don't deserve success? When you speak to yourself in this way, you're sending out negative messages about your own worth. These messages shape your reality because they influence how you feel and act. Your subconscious mind, which is the part of your mind that works below your conscious awareness, takes everything you say to it as truth. It doesn't question whether what you're saying is accurate or helpful. It simply accepts it and acts on it. So, if you constantly tell yourself that you are unlucky or that you always fail, your subconscious mind believes these statements and works to make them come true. It finds ways to create more situations that match these beliefs. This means that when you say negative things about yourself, you are actually instructing your subconscious mind to find evidence that supports those negative beliefs. For example, if you believe you are not good enough, you might find yourself missing opportunities or failing to achieve your goals because your actions and decisions are influenced by this belief. On the other hand, if you change the way you talk to yourself, you can start to see changes in your life. Instead of focusing on what you can't do or what you don't have, try to speak to yourself in a positive and affirming way. Imagine that you are already the person you want to be. Use positive affirmations and self-encouragement to build your confidence and self-worth. For example, instead of saying, I always mess up, say, I am capable and I learn from my mistakes. Positive self-talk helps create a more supportive and encouraging inner environment. When you talk to yourself in a positive way, your subconscious mind starts to believe these new positive messages. This shift in belief can lead to changes in your actions and experiences. You might find that you are more motivated, more confident, and more open to opportunities. To practice positive self-talk, start by paying attention to the language you use when you think or speak about yourself. Notice when you slip into negative patterns and gently redirect your thoughts to something more positive. It can be helpful to write down positive affirmations and repeat them daily. For example, you might say, I am deserving of success and happiness, or I have the skills and abilities to achieve my goals. Another way to improve your self-talk is to challenge negative thoughts. When a negative thought arises, Ask yourself if it is really true. Often, you'll find that these negative thoughts are based on old beliefs or fears rather than facts. By questioning and reframing these thoughts, you can replace them with more constructive and realistic beliefs. Surrounding yourself with positive influences can also help reinforce positive self-talk. Spend time with people who uplift and encourage you rather than those who bring you down. Positive relationships can boost your self-esteem and support your journey towards a more positive mindset. Let's explore the fourth dangerous thing that attracts negative energy, holding on to the past. Many people find themselves stuck because they can't let go of memories from the past, whether they are painful experiences, failures, or disappointments. They keep replaying these events over and over in their minds. Every time they think about these memories, they are reliving the negative feelings associated with them. When you hold on to the past, you give it power over your present. The past can only affect you as much as you allow it to. If you keep focusing on past hurts, failures, or disappointments, you are keeping those negative feelings alive. This ongoing focus on what has already happened prevents you from moving forward and enjoying the present moment. It's like being anchored to a place that no longer serves you, which makes it difficult to move on and experience new opportunities. Think about it this way. If you are constantly looking back at old, painful memories, 
It's like trying to walk forward while looking over your shoulder. It's almost impossible to move ahead effectively if you're fixated on what's behind you. The same is true in life. When you keep revisiting past issues, you are preventing yourself from making progress and creating a new positive reality. It's important to understand that you have the power to change your focus. The moment you stop giving attention to those painful memories, they start to lose their grip on you. You have the choice to focus on the present and the future rather than staying stuck in the past. Letting go of old grievances and regrets is crucial for personal growth and happiness. It's not about forgetting what happened, but about not letting those past experiences dictate your current mood or future. One way to start letting go of the past is by practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness involves being fully present in the moment and acknowledging your thoughts and feelings without judgment. When you practice mindfulness, you can observe your thoughts about the past without letting them control your emotions. This helps you shift your focus back to the present where you have the power to make positive changes. Another effective method is to practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer a friend who is struggling. Recognize that everyone makes mistakes and that the past does not define your worth. By showing yourself compassion, you can begin to release the hold that past events have on your emotions. Journaling can also be a helpful tool. Write about your feelings and experiences to process and understand them better. Sometimes putting your thoughts on paper can help you gain perspective and let go of negative emotions. After writing, you might feel lighter and more capable of focusing on the present and future. Setting new goals can also help shift your focus away from the past. By creating and working towards new objectives, you are redirecting your energy toward building a positive future. This forward-thinking approach can help you break free from the past and concentrate on what you can achieve now. It's also useful to surround yourself with positive influences. Spend time with people who uplift and support you, rather than those who remind you of past troubles. Positive relationships can help you stay focused on your goals and encourage you to move beyond past setbacks. Now let's talk about the fifth thing, envy. Envy is a dangerous emotion because it focuses your energy on what you don't have. When you feel envious of someone else's success, wealth, or happiness, you are actually sending out a message to the universe that you believe there isn't enough to go around for you. You are reinforcing the idea that you are missing something, and this belief in lack will bring more lack into your life. Imagine you see someone who has achieved something you really want. Maybe they have a great job, a beautiful home, or a happy relationship. If instead of feeling happy for them, you feel envious, you are telling yourself and the universe that their success is a reminder of what you don't have. This feeling of envy is like saying, I wish I had that, but I can't have it. It makes you focus on what you're missing rather than on what you could achieve. Envy works against you by keeping your focus on scarcity. When you are envious, you are not only feeling bad about what you lack, but also sending out a negative vibration. This negative energy attracts more of what you don't want into your life. It's like having a cloud of negativity that follows you around, making it harder to see and seize opportunities that could lead to your own success. Instead of letting envy take hold, celebrate the success of others. When you see someone who has what you desire, think of it as proof that it is possible for you too. Their success should inspire you not make you feel worse about yourself. When you admire and celebrate what others have achieved, you are aligning yourself with positive energy. This positive energy helps to open up new possibilities and opportunities for you. Seeing the success of others as a positive sign rather than a threat is crucial. For example, if you see someone driving a car that you dream of owning, instead of feeling envious, Use it as a sign that it's possible for you to have that car too. Their success shows that it can be done. Let it motivate you to pursue your own goals with confidence and enthusiasm. What you admire in others, you attract into your own life. This is a powerful concept. 
When you focus on what you admire and appreciate, you are sending out a positive vibration that draws similar things to you. If you constantly feel envious, you are creating a negative cycle that blocks your path to success and happiness. But if you focus on celebrating others and seeing their achievements as a sign of what's possible, you are creating a positive cycle that attracts similar achievements into your life. To overcome envy, practice gratitude and appreciation for what you already have. Recognize the good things in your own life and be thankful for them. This will shift your focus from what you don't have to what you do have. Gratitude helps to build a positive mindset and attracts more of what you want into your life. When you are grateful, you create a sense of abundance rather than scarcity. Another way to handle envy is to set clear goals for yourself and take active steps toward achieving them. When you are focused on your own goals and making progress, you have less time and energy to waste on envy. Your attention is directed toward your own growth and success, which helps to keep negative emotions at bay. The sixth dangerous thing that attracts negative energy is resistance to change. Change is a natural part of life. Everything around us is always changing. Seasons shift, people grow older, and new experiences come our way. Yet many people resist change because they are afraid of what's unknown. They don't know what will happen if they step out of their current situation, so they hold on tightly to what feels familiar. Even if that familiar situation is causing them pain, they stay because it's what they know. This fear of the unknown keeps them stuck, preventing growth and happiness. Resisting change can make life harder. When you resist change, you are fighting against the natural flow of life. Life is always moving forward, and by resisting, you are creating a block in that movement. It's like trying to swim upstream in a river. The more you struggle, the more tired you become, and the further away you drift from where you want to be. Instead of moving forward, you stay stuck in the same place, feeling frustrated and unhappy. The longer you resist, the more suffering you experience. One of the main reasons people resist change is because of fear. Fear of the unknown can be overwhelming. It's easier to stay in a situation that feels safe, even if it's not making you happy, than to take a step into something new and uncertain. However, staying in your comfort zone can also be dangerous. Comfort zones are often misleading. They make you feel safe, but that safety can come at a cost. If your comfort zone is causing you pain, stress, or dissatisfaction, then it's not really a place of comfort at all. It's just familiar, and familiarity can sometimes trick you into thinking that it's the best place for you. But resisting change only prolongs your suffering. It keeps you stuck in situations that no longer serve you. Imagine being in a job you hate, but you don't want to leave because you're afraid of finding something new. The longer you stay in that job, the more unhappy you become. The same is true in relationships, habits, or any part of life where you resist change. Holding on to something that isn't good for you only delays the happiness, peace, and growth you deserve. When you resist change, you are also sending a message to the universe that you are not ready for something better. The universe is constantly offering new opportunities, experiences, and chances for growth. But when you resist change, you block those opportunities from coming into your life. It's like closing a door and locking it, preventing the good things from getting in. You may want a better job, a happier relationship, or more success, but by resisting change, you're telling the universe that you are not open to receiving those things. Embracing change is key to moving forward in life. When you accept change, you allow the natural flow of life to guide you toward better things. You open yourself up to new opportunities, experiences, and levels of growth that you may not have imagined. Change, though it may seem scary at first, is often the gateway to something better. Many times, the changes that seem difficult or uncomfortable at first lead to incredible growth and transformation. It's important to remember that change is always for your highest good, even if it doesn't seem that way at the time. Sometimes change feels painful because it pushes you out of your comfort zone, but that discomfort is temporary. 
The growth and opportunities that come from embracing change are long-lasting. The more you resist, the harder life becomes. But when you let go of resistance, you begin to flow with life. You begin to see that change brings new possibilities, new experiences, and new levels of abundance into your life. Letting go of resistance is like taking a deep breath and stepping into the unknown with trust. Trust that the universe has your best interest at heart. Trust that every change is bringing you closer to the life you desire. When you release resistance, you open the door to all the good things that life has to offer. You move forward with confidence, knowing that change is part of your journey toward a better, happier, and more abundant life. Finally, the seventh dangerous thing that attracts negative energy is doubt. Doubt is a powerful force that blocks the manifestation of your desires. It is the enemy of creation. When you doubt yourself or your ability to create the life you want, you weaken your own power. Doubt sends a message to the universe that you are uncertain about what you want. Instead of moving confidently towards your desire, you hesitate, and this hesitation causes a delay. Doubt creates confusion in the mind. And where there is confusion, there is no clear direction for your energy to flow. Think of it like this. Your thoughts and beliefs are like signals you send out into the universe. When these signals are strong and focused, the universe knows exactly what to bring into your life. But when you are filled with doubt, your signals become scattered. They are not clear, and the universe cannot respond to something that is unclear. It's like trying to tune into a radio station, but not being able to find the right frequency. If your mind is filled with doubt, the universe cannot hear what you truly want. Doubt also causes you to waver between belief and disbelief. One moment, you believe in your power to create, and the next, you question it. This back and forth between belief and disbelief sends mixed signals to the universe, and as a result, it delays the manifestation of your desires. The universe responds to consistency. It needs to know that you are certain about what you want and that you trust the process. But when your belief is inconsistent, you are telling the universe, I'm not sure if this will work. And that uncertainty is what creates the delay. It's important to understand that the universe responds to certainty. When you are certain that what you desire is already yours, it must come to you. This is a law. There is no way around it. If you truly believe that you have what you want, even if you don't see it yet, the universe will arrange circumstances, events, and people to bring it into your life. This is why Neville Goddard teaches that you must feel the wish fulfilled. When you feel as if you already have what you want, you are radiating a frequency of certainty, and the universe responds to that certainty by making it a reality. However, when you doubt, you are doing the opposite. Doubt pushes your desire away. Instead of attracting what you want, you repel it. You are essentially telling the universe, I don't believe this is possible for me, and the universe mirrors that belief back to you. It cannot bring you what you don't believe you can have. Your doubt acts as a barrier, preventing your desires from manifesting. It is like building a wall between you and the life you want to create. Until you remove that wall of doubt, you will continue to struggle to manifest your desires. So, how do you overcome doubt? First, you must believe in yourself. Believe in your power to create your reality. Remember that you are the operant power. Nothing can happen without your say-so. You are not a victim of circumstance. You are the creator of your world. Every thought you think, every belief you hold, and every feeling you have is shaping your reality. When you doubt yourself, you are choosing to give your power away. But when you believe in yourself, you reclaim that power. Trust the process. Know that everything is working out in your favor, even if you can't see it right now. Manifestation is not always immediate, but that doesn't mean it's not happening. The universe is constantly rearranging itself to bring you what you desire. Your job is to stay focused on what you want and trust that it is already on its way to you. Doubt will only slow this process down. So, these things may seem small, but they have a profound impact on your life. 
They are like invisible forces, shaping your reality without you even realizing it. But the good news is, once you become aware of them, you can stop them. You can take control of your thoughts, emotions and beliefs and start attracting positive energy into your life. There is a powerful force in the vastness of human life that compels us to reach for the stars, to dream of the unattainable, and to make our wildest dreams a reality. This power represents our unyielding will to keep going no matter how difficult things become. It's important to keep going, even when the outside world tells us our goals are impossible, because it is in the depths of our being that we have the strength to stay fast to our beliefs, to break free of the constraints society places on us, and to realize our deepest aspirations. Within each one of us, there exists a world beyond the confines of the physical realm, a realm where the intangible takes precedence over the tangible. It is in this mystical plane that we find the key to unlocking our true potential. We must dare to close our eyes against the facts of life and allow ourselves to become immersed in the wondrous tapestry of our own imaginations. Here we can conjure up visions of what we wish to see and hear as if our desires were already true. In the depths of our minds, we have the capacity to shape our realities and give form to our dreams. By assuming the feeling of their reality, we create a bridge between the ethereal realm of our imaginations and the material world that surrounds us. This bridge, forged by the power of our conviction and determination, allows us to traverse the chasm between our current circumstances and the future we envision for ourselves. As we navigate the path to our goals, we must maintain our belief in the power of our dreams, regardless of the obstacles that may arise. The universe is infinitely abundant, and within it lies all that we could ever need or desire. It is essential to recognize that our wishes are not simply fleeting thoughts or desires, but rather they are seeds of potential, patiently waiting to be nourished and cultivated by our unwavering faith. We require no external force or helper to grant us our deepest desires, for they already belong to us. It is merely a matter of reaching out and claiming them as our own. To call our desires into being, we must embrace the practice of imagining and feeling our wishes fulfilled. This act of mental and emotional alchemy serves as a catalyst for the manifestation of our dreams. We must be resolute in our conviction, steadfast in our belief, and unyielding in our pursuit of our goals. For it is through this unwavering determination that we are able to tap into the limitless reservoir of potential that resides within us. In the grand tapestry of existence, it is important to remember that our lives are not solely dictated by the whims of fate or circumstance. Instead, we are the architects of our own destinies, crafting our realities with the power of our thoughts, emotions, and intentions. It is within this understanding that we find the key to unlocking our true potential in living lives of purpose, passion, and fulfillment. The journey towards the fulfillment of our desires is one that requires us to persist in our assumptions and to dare to dream, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. By closing our eyes against the facts of life, we open ourselves up to the boundless possibilities that exist within the realm of our imaginations. As we assume the feeling of our desire's reality, we create a powerful conduit between the world of our dreams and the world of our material existence. Let us be unyielding in our perseverance, unwavering in our conviction, and steadfast in our pursuit of our dreams. For it is through our unrelenting belief in the power of our desires that we can transform the intangible into the tangible and manifest the life we have always imagined. In the words of the great philosopher and poet Ralph Waldo Emerson, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. May we all find the courage and determination to forge our own paths, to persist in our assumptions and to bring our dreams into fruition. For it is within this journey of self-discovery and actualization that we uncover the true essence of our existence and unlock the limitless potential that resides within us all. 
Throughout history, human beings have been driven by an innate curiosity and desire to explore and create. From the dawn of civilization, we have consistently pushed the boundaries of what is possible, striving for greatness and aiming to leave our mark on the world. The law of assumption posits that it is not more difficult to create a castle than it is a button, and that our inherent power as creators can enable us to manifest our wildest dreams. The only limitations that exist are the ones we place on ourselves. So what is it that prevents most people from believing they can create larger things? The answer lies in our understanding of the laws governing the universe and our ability to recognize our own potential. Many individuals base their beliefs on what has been previously achieved, rather than exploring the infinite possibilities that lie ahead. By focusing on the past, we limit our potential to create and manifest greatness. However, when we embrace the law of assumption, we can free ourselves from these self-imposed limitations and step into a world of limitless possibilities. It is crucial to remember that we are not here to prove ourselves worthy, but rather to express our creative power and contribute to the world in our own unique way. In our journey to create big things, we may encounter resistance from those who doubt the effectiveness of the laws and principles we choose to follow. It is important to remain steadfast in our beliefs and not be swayed by the skepticism of others. Instead of attempting to prove our point through words, let our actions and the life we live serve as a shining example for others to follow. Many of us feel the need to justify any good that comes our way. This is often a result of deeply ingrained beliefs in our own unworthiness. Societal conditioning and cultural norms may have led us to doubt our inherent value and capabilities. However, it is essential to recognize that our physical existence is a testament to our worthiness and our deservedness to be, do, or have anything we desire. As we let go of these limiting beliefs, we open ourselves up to the power of the law of assumption. We can channel our creative energies into manifesting grand visions and achieving extraordinary feats. We are not meant to be mere regurgitators of the past, but rather pioneers of the future, constantly expanding the horizons of human potential. To bring into existence monumental creations, it is essential for us to wholeheartedly accept the inner strength and abilities that lie within us and have unwavering faith in the infinite opportunities that the future holds. As we embark on this journey towards greatness, we must cast aside the shackles of self-doubt and trepidation, boldly venturing forth into the unknown. By embodying this courageous spirit and tenaciously pursuing our dreams, we not only unlock our own potential, but also serve as an inspirational beacon for others to discover their own hidden capabilities. This ripple effect of awakened creativity and growth sets in motion a transformative wave profoundly impacting the world around us and shaping it into a realm of unbridled possibility and achievement. In sum, we must abandon our self-imposed constraints and submit to the rule of assumption. Because of our immense creative potential, we can mold reality to better suit our needs and interests. The only thing stopping us from accomplishing our greatest dreams is our own lack of faith in ourselves. We have the ability to make enormous changes, so why bother making simply minor ones? We must now let our imaginations free reign in order to effect positive change in the world.